Hello everyone out there on YouTube. Thank you all again for checking out today's gaming news and coverage. So YouTube, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about Turtle WoW and I want to share my thoughts on add-ons and patches I feel everyone should get or at least look at if they're wanting to jump into Turtle WoW or even for those that are already over there. Just as with retail, there are a lot of add-ons and with this client being a vanilla based one, there are a lot of quality of life add-ons and patches that I feel a lot of players would be interested in. So let's take a look at them. Now the first two recommendations are both going to be patches and not World of Warcraft add-ons. First being a quality of life patch and the second addresses graphics, animations, and sound. And the first patch is going to be what's called Vanilla Tweaks. This patch addresses simple quality of life features for the 1.12.1 WoW client. It allows the game to use up to 4 gigabytes of memory. It increases the range for nameplates to 41 yards and adds quick loot as the default setting. It also adds a few other tweaks like enabling the game sound in the background, widescreen FOV, and increased far clip value and grass draw distance. Adding this patch is pretty easy to do. I'll put all the links for the patches and add-ons for this video in the description and I'll also pin them at the top comment down below. So you can head over to the Turtle Wow forums or you can directly search for it on GitHub and we're going to go ahead and go to the page and we're going to download the vanilla tweaks file for the computer operating system that you're using. And then over here on the right I have a folder where I'm going to be putting all the patches and add-ons for this video in here just to keep things nice and clean. You're going to want to open your Turtle Wow folder after you download the patch and you can see that here on the left side of my screen. This is the main folder that has the executable files as well as the data interface, WDB, WTF folders. And what this patch is going to do is it's actually going to create a new exe file that you will then use every time you launch Turtle Wow. To do this, unzip the patch and then drag the vanilla-tweaks.exe into your Turtle Wow folder and you're going to drop it inside. Step two, you want to click on the original wow.exe and drop it on top of the vanilla tweaks.exe. And when you do this, it's going to create a new exe file named wow underscore tweaked.exe. Now going forward, you will use this to launch Turtle Wow every time you start the game. So if you already had a shortcut for Turtle Wow on your desktop, you'll want to go ahead and delete that and create a new shortcut using the new wow underscore tweak.exe. And with that, we now have a patched and lightly tweaked version of the old World of Warcraft client. And now onto the second patch, and I know that this is one that some people will hate the idea of and not want it, and others, they probably really want that, and that is the HD add-on patch for Turtle Wow. There are three files, so you have the option to pick and choose what things you want updated and which ones you don't. The HD project is straightforward to install. You only need to decide which parts you want. The project replaces all playable races with the Legion models, as well as most, if not all, NPCs. It also replaces many world textures with higher resolution ones. It changes some spell effects and sounds, and it even adds Cataclysm music to the game playlist. The HD patch has its own thread over on Turtle Wow as well as the links to download. You have patch A, which is for the character models, music, and spell effects, patch B for environmental retextures, and patch C for weapon and attack sound animations. Choose the ones you want, or all of them, get those downloaded. We're going to have these three MPQ files since I downloaded A, B, and C. Again, go back to the Turtle Wow folder seen here on the left, and we want to go into the data folder. You're going to see a whole bunch of MPQ files in there, and you're going to simply click drag and drop the mpq files from the hd patch into the data folder and once those are dropped in there the hd patch is activated if at any point in time you want to remove it you would just go ahead go back into the data folder find the mpq file and remove it and now that we've covered the two patches it's time to head over to add-ons and i recommend first deciding what sort of ui you want to use or if you even want to use a ui add-on at all if you do want to use a UI add-on, I suggest one of two options, that's PFUI or Shagu Tweaks. PFUI is an interface UI that's very similar to ELVUI that you would see in Retail WoW. It's fully customizable on the frames and the cells. 
the ability to move bars and everything on the UI to pretty much anywhere you want. There's 3D models for your character and NPC portraits, or you can go with the classic models. I'm just going to go ahead and open up the settings page here and just kind of click through and show you just the ridiculous amount of things that you can change. You can change the fonts, you can change the fonts and color. So if you want to have complete control over your UI customization, PFUI may be the one that you want to pick. And at times, and maybe for some people, the PFUI interface is just too much. They want that more classic look. And that's where Shaggy Tweaks comes in. It's a very authentic, Blizzard-like vanilla UI. And the good thing about this is, is it does have its own group of settings. If you go into here, you're going to notice all the same boxes. They're not all the dark shadow frames like we had with PFUI. And you're going to go over here to Advanced Options. And this is going to open up a lot of UI options. You can pick auto dismount when you cast a spell or an attack, stance change for warriors and druid, cooldown numbers, you can darken the UI, hide errors, you can hide the griffins, which are the artwork down here at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Go ahead and we'll just darken it a little bit. You can reduce the action bar size, which is going to get rid of your options pane over here, as well as your bags. And it's going to shift this over to the center. It's going to shift your action bar. We have debuff timers, we have sell junk as well as showing vendor prices. So it has a lot of different add-ons added into it as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Let's reduce the size. You can have colors in chat so you know what classes characters are that are talking in different chats. You can also set that for the minimap. There's a minimap option to make it a square instead of a circle. Let's go ahead and do that. We can click it so that we can zoom in and out with the mouse. And we can add chords as well to our map. So let's click OK. Give it a second to reload the UI. And there we go. And all of these buttons up here are going to be able to be moved. At least most of them will be able to. And we are now good to go. So these are the two that I highly recommend. On top of that, I would recommend getting the Atlas map. Which is going to show you all the maps for the instances in vanilla. Another one that I really like is Bagnon. Which puts all your bags in one big bag. And you can also move that wherever you want. And it'll do the same thing for your bank when you open that up. And going along with Atlas Loot Map, there is actually an Atlas Loot for Turtle WoW. It's the Lexi Bean Atlas Loot. And this is going to have most of, if not all, of the new items from drops and dungeons that were added by Turtle WoW. So there, there's a lot of different add-ons. Another one that you may want to pick up is Cartographer. Cartographer is nice. It's just going to give you more options and gives you a cleaner mini-map. Let's you move the mini-map around. You can resize it. Really, it's up to you, but I think these are really good to get started with. And, oh, I almost forgot. Why not get PFUI Quest as well, which is going to be the version of Questy, which also has an add-on for the new Turtle Wild quests and content. So it works out perfect. So, again, these are the ones that I suggest getting. Get into the game, figure out what you like, but this, I think, is a good base to get started and to get out there and get into your adventure in Azeroth. And if you don't know how to install add-ons, let me jump over and show you how to do that really quick here. I'll go ahead and put the links, as I said, down below so you can find these add-ons. A lot of the vanilla add-ons will work. There's a lot of them that won't. So the best thing to do is actually head over to Turtle Wow, join the Discord, see which ones they recommend. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to install add-ons, and I'm going to do that with the AUX, which is an interface add-on for the auction house. So once you get things downloaded, you're going to go to your add-on. You're going to unzip the add-on. And it's now created a new folder. The first thing that you want to make sure that you always do, you want to make sure that the add-on works by making sure that the folder name is the same name as the TOC file found inside. So whenever you get a new one, go into the folder, locate the TOC file, which is right here. And the TOC is AUX-add-on. 
The folder is AUX-Add-on-Vanilla-Master. So this will not work when we put it in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rename it. We're going to get rid of the dash vanilla and dash master. And now AUX dash add on. The TOC file is AUX dash add on. It will now work. Now to install it, you're going to go to the turtle wild folder again. You're going to go to interface. You're going to go to add ons. And you should see if yours is not add on to up yet you'll see some blizzard stuff in there and maybe something from turtle wow but you're going to want to go to your turtle wow interface add-ons folder and then you will just take the aux dash add-on you'll click it you'll drag it over to here and you'll just go ahead and drop it into this folder and when you do that you'll then have it here and the best way to know whether or not your mod is actually installed correctly is at your character select screen. You want to go down here to the add-ons, click on your add-ons, and right here you see AUX. It's installed. I have it checked. Make sure you have load out of date add-ons checked as well, and you should be good to go. So hopefully this can get some of you guys on the right path, get you started over to Turtle Wow, and with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And as always, be safe, and I will see you again in the next video.